This morning, some Colorado lawmakers and leaders are pushing for stricter gun laws, but one of our local representatives says tougher gun restrictions wouldn't have prevented Monday's mass shooting. KRDO News Channel 13's digital anchor Willa Scott shows us both sides of the debate, a debate that happens after every mass shooting we have in this country. Willis. Josh, in the wake of the Boulder shooting, some lawmakers are calling for action in the form of background checks, bans on some guns and other measures. Representative Joe Nagoose, whose district is based in Boulder, says the time for inaction is over. End the filibuster and enact meaningful reforms, universal background checks, banning assault weapons and more. Hashtag end gun violence. He's referring to a filibuster in the Senate that's blocking a vote on two background check bills. The bills were passed by the House earlier this month. Representative Diana DeGette, whose district is based in Denver, tweeted, The time to ban assault weapons is not now, it was yesterday. It was before this tragedy in Boulder. It was before Aurora, Parkland, Pulse, Las Vegas, and Columbine. Nobody needs an AR-15 style assault rifle. We need to get these weapons off our streets. Hashtag enough is enough. Representative Lauren Bobert, whose district covers the western half of the state and Pueblo County, is pushing back on the calls for gun control. She tweeted a clip of her recent interview on Newsmask saying that there are no gun laws that would have stopped Ahmad Alyssa from killing 10 Americans in cold blood. Big government gun grabs are not the answer to the issue of violence in our nation. And Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser and Secretary of State Jenna Griswold have both announced they're committed to measures to prevent gun violence. Josh and Bryn, back to you.